Welcome to my channel TNTDNX. In this video, I'm going to discuss a very important topic about an adding an additional node which is not going to be the same as your master operating system. And later, I'm going to show you how to remove a node, a puppet agent node from your master configuration. Okay, so the agent node which I'm going to install today is going to be a SUSE Enterprise Linux server and my master server is currently running a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. If I click on puppet.tint Linux server which is a master server and if I scroll it down a little bit I would be able to see that server information and the release version and all. So opening system is Red Hat, Enter Red Hat and it's a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. So my master server is Red Hat Enterprise server and the client is also a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server which is added. Okay, so for now uh, you can see only two nodes here and I'm going to add an additional node which is going to be a say Enterprise Linux server. And to add that node uh, there is a little different procedure because earlier when I have added this agent node I have gone here uncert uh, unassigned certificate and I have copied this uh, command and run this command in my client or agent node and it has installed the packages and it, had a, it has started the service but for this scenario since it is associated enterprise Linux servers I'm not going to run this command and also there is uh, instruction given here to install this agent on the node on the same operating system or architecture as master then run this command otherwise it will not going to work and the other important thing is every node you used to manage must have a puppet enterprise agent installed so that agent needs to be installed so to do that I'll go to my agent server this is my agent node and if I get it for slash it is so say release and I can see it is version 11 patch level 3 all right so here I have one agent rpm which I have downloaded from puppet site and kept it in this location so I just need to install this rpm so I will just run this command as rpm minus ivh by puppet agent and this biggest installation is ongoing Done. So once I have installed this package, the next step is I need to ensure my Puppet Agent service is started or running. So let me check the service. init.d Puppet is the daemon or service status and it says dead. I have to start the service. Done, but some error it seems. Let me check the status again and it is running so not an issue and to start the service while my system boot up if the system rebooted and I need to ensure the services come up automatically so let me check that puppet and the service is on so I'm good with the service and the next step is if I go to slash etc there is one directory created called puppet labs and inside this directory there will be a four directory one is called cod m collective puppet and px pxp agent so let me go to puppet and inside this directory there is one file called puppet.conf and this is the file where i have to inf mention the server information so currently this file is all has and there is no configuration information mentioned here so let me just vi it and here i need to inform that uh, which puppet master it should go and here the server name it is going to be my puppet server so puppet server name is puppet.tm2linux.com and the next step is set server name I think it is server only and the cert name is 
my client is a name so since the communication between the client puppet client or puppet agent is uh, happen through the certificate so I need to ensure when I start this service there is a certificate generates for this client node and that puppet uh, certificate will go to master node for acknowledgement and once the master node acknowledges that certificate it will going to aid in puppet configuration so here the cert, cert name is going to be my client as a name so it is team to linux dot com and this is it i just need to save this file and once i have saved this file uh, i need to run a command called puppet let me clear the screen and run this command again puppet as in minus t and it is saying exiting no certificate found so something is not correct so let me i doubt it this one so let me go back to this location and puppet.conf and i think it is server name and also i need to ensure my slash etc host file is updated so that this client is able to communicate with puppet server in case if you have dns then it is not a problem so before run that command let me just try to register the puppet agent service and see whether that helps so it is trying to start it and it has started now just to check whether there is any request came here and let me refresh my puppet master dashboard and now i can see there is a request and you can see that unassigned certificate and there is one request here okay and also if i go to my master server here and if i run a command called puppet cert list i would be able to see a certificate came from asuclinux.com and here is the certificate and to sign this certificate i need to run this command puppet cert sign and i need to give us host name for that agent done so let me just double check is there any pending certificate and i don't see any and i have successfully added the agent which is sus enterprise linux and to double check from the, my web gui let me refresh this one more time and i can see there is no pending certificate here and let me click on inventory and in inventory i still see the old system information and the new system which i just added is not populated here because it takes a little time because it will going to fetch all the information depends on your fact and values and it will going to fetch all those information through m collective so there are many information that's why it takes a little time sometime for example if i click on here and i can see there's a fact classes and in fact there are so many information needs to populate so that is why sometimes it takes a little time to fetch that information and show it in this dashboard so i have to wait and to refresh this dashboard and to see whether my system which i have added recently is going to show here or not and i have refreshed it one more time and now it is populated and i can see the information here so this is my newly added agent and this information is populated so i have successfully added a new agent node which is sus enterprise linux and to view all this uh, to view information about the node you can click on and you can able to see all this information okay so this is how you have to add a node 
uh, irrespective whether it is uh, different in next uh, next based operating system such as SUSE Linux, uh, AX, HP VX or Solaris you have to follow the same procedure as I showed you and if it is a windows operating system then again it is going to be a uh, different procedure uh, you need to follow to add the agent in your puppet master so the first step is done so next step is going to be to remove this puppet agent which I have recently added I need to remove this node from puppet configuration so I need to do a clean clean uh, I need to do a clean decommission or I need to clean this up from my puppet configuration so that it, it will not show here and we would know that this node is not going to manage by puppet anymore so to do that what I have to do is I need to go to my puppet agent server here and first what I have to do is I have to delete the certificate okay so to delete the certificate there is a directory slash it is puppet dot uh, puppet labs and inside puppet and there is one directory called SSL if you go to this directory and you would be able to see the certificate information here okay so and also let me go to cert directory and here you can see there is a certificate with the name of my host name and also if I go to private key and here also you can see uh, certificate so to do or to remove one by one the best way to remove this certificate is I need to run the command call find slash etc puppet labs puppet SSL and I need to give the name this name is so say linux.com dot pm which is the extension of the certificate and I need to delete so if I run this command everything under this directory structure if there is a certificate with the name of asuselinux.com dot pm it will going to delete it so I have successfully deleted all the certificate and now what I have to do is I need to go to my master node and this is my master node and in this master node I have to run a command call puppet cert clean and I need to give the agent node name so if I have run this command you can able to see there is there was a two certificate under this location one is in CA signed and another was in inside this location which was just deleted so first step is done and next step if I still go to my dashboard and if I refresh it I still this I still see the system here asuselinux.com and in configuration also if I click I would be able to see this server information to remove that I need to run a command call puppet node purge and the server name so I have successfully removed it there is a notice and it says that I need to remove the certificate from the client node as well if you wanted to use that node again in future so that I have done already so I don't need to do that anymore and we are almost done I think uh, what else you have to do is uh, inside this directory you just need to remove uh, remove the directory called puppet labs so this is a directory inside everything is there so just remove this file and later you can remove the package as well 
So this is the packet. Rpm-e. The packet name. So this that's it, guys. This is pretty much simple and clear. It is not very complicated and easy. Uh, it is not complicated and tough. So it is very much easy as I'll show you. So if any situation where you would like to decommission or remove your puppet as in configuration from your master server, then you can follow these steps. And also, if you wanted to uh, add an additional node which is not uh, as your master operating system, then you have to follow this procedure. And apart from that, if you are running an uh, Windows system, then you are going to need this command. Okay, so let me just paste it here. So this is the command which you have to remove it your uh, remove it from your client system, uh, agent system, and your uh, certificate information will remove from your client system. And the rest of the procedures are same as uh, what I have showed you. Okay, so this uh, I think for this video I had uh, only these two topic to discuss please uh, try to configure your puppet server and puppet agent and please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet it is very important and also if you like this content please uh, hit like in youtube okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a good day